Class, guys, Giga Map. 40 second run. Crush them all. I found the next level. Go, go, go! Crush them all. I'm playing Gorilla Crushing Hands, man. We're crushing. Just crush them all. Chop, 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 chop. Sayonara, boss. Hey everybody, it's Rob here. Next to Quill Volley, there's an amazing speed build on the Spirit Born. This time, if it's, if it's with Gorilla, with the crushing hands. And this has the advantage, it basically hits in a 360 AoE around you. And you can see here, like, kind of the damage numbers it's uh, producing here. It is pretty cool and uh, very fast paced, very cool. And quite a bit of a different playstyle build. And it's very easy to switch from the normal Quill Volley build Quill Volley build that we've all been enjoying uh, to this build. And especially for speed farming, it's incredible fun and incredible good because you have this like full 360 AOE like around you. And you can see here it's hitting for billions and billions. And we're still hitting for trillions with our Jaguar Spirit Hall. So I want to show you this uh, cool build today that basically fully revolves around the Gorilla skills. So there is going to be a planner right here. And I mainly play a speed version of this build. And uh, again, the reason is like it's very easy to hit all the elites with this. You basically just dash and it hits like the entire screen for like 200 billion damage. And this is more than enough uh, to absolutely melt everything on like, let's say, pit 100 to pit 120 uh, if you want to do this. And there's uh, multiple setups here that we have been playing. I really like the um, cooldown setup the most because that basically allows you to uh, have your hunter like reset like crazy and I mainly use this to teleport. There is also um, a build that you can do with soar to move around, like you can also do this here instead, uh, do soar, but however I'm not a big fan of uh, soar because it is, feels very clunky, like you have to go up in the sky and then you have to land. Like I much rather like prefer the hunter, like which is like instantly and then you can just keep crashing again. And if you have enough cooldown and if you're also like uh, killing monsters at the same time, you can reset your hunter like instantly. You see here, like I basically have no cooldown on my hunter if I really want to. Like I'm just uh, attacking and then boom, hunter is ready again. And especially if I'm killing monsters, it's very comfortable. However, Soar is great to um, solve your vulnerable problems. So there's going to be two different versions of this build that I'm going to link below. I'm going to stick with the one that I like better with Vortex. And then we use exploit to make targets vulnerable because one of the downsides of crushing hand and one of the upsides of quill is that quill makes stuff vulnerable with the enhanced quill volley rune crushing hand doesn't do that but crushing hand scales your damage based on your resolve stack so this is again another resolve stacking build that is extremely powerful with more resolve stacks um, you can use uh, pants for sure and you can also use the helm or you use harlequin's quest again this is what I recommend for speedruns. Uh, with Harlequin's Quest, you can also push with this build. However, it's gonna be much weaker than Quill Volley. But overall, if you're looking for a new playstyle and you are like, you know, a bit fed up with the Quill Volley build, this is a very, very strong and potent alternative. So we are rocking Harlequin's Quest. Alternatively, you can also play a Resilience Helm with the Fear Aspect. Then we're rocking Shroud of False Death. If you don't have this, you can also run, again, Resolve Stacking. Um, just with the uh, slow aspect on here. However, the Shroud is by far the best, giving you all the passive ranks. And it's very easy to switch from Quill to this. So you see, this is the same, this is the same. Then the hands are a bit different. Obviously, you don't need Quill Volley ranks. I have Crushing Hand ranks here. And we're also not playing Mystic Circles because this is a speed build. Um, so we take Moonrise here, which gives us double damage, gives us attack speed and gives us movement speed. Pretty cool, Barrier Gen, Overpower. So you do need a little bit less barrier gen in this build. You don't need 123. You can uh, be okay with like 100% because Crushing Hand itself is also giving you barrier generation. So that means if you want, you can change some of your gems here from barrier generation to uh, just using the um, dexterity gems here. So I could just do this here and I would mostly still be fine with my barrier. You can always check if you have 100% of your life in barrier. So now I would have like 120 more dexterity, more DPS. Um, then we're rocking the Interdiction, this one hasn't changed. Uh, we're rocking the Duelist, this one hasn't changed. We're rocking Kepeleka, this is the best weapon, it'll never change. Uh, Midnight Sun, this one hasn't changed. Ring hasn't changed. Amulet hasn't changed. So pretty much only the gloves from the speed versions have changed. 
Um, the Spirit Hall here, Jago, are also unchanged. Then we have Gorilla. Um, Gorilla is the best here because you're scaling, like you're multi-scaling with Resolve now. So Resolve is very strong and it also makes you unstoppable, which is pretty cool. Um, skill tree looks like this. Also, almost no changes. Quill Volley, uh, we go for Crushing Hands. And then I think the only thing I changed here in this version is the three points from Brilliance into Dominant. Again, you can also go with Soar to solve your vulnerable problems. However, again, I don't like Soar, but you can do this and then you need to make the Soar aspect that procs Vortex when you Soar. And this one solves vulnerable and solves pulling for you. However, I don't think we need this at all. Exploit is way more than enough in the speedruns. And uh, then we have Prodigy's Tempo like normally. And uh, again, all the uh, multipliers here. So you just can't use um, any of the Eagle skill multipliers because your skills are not Eagle skills. Um, Paragon Tree, again, my Paragon Tree right now is I basically only changed two things from the Quill Volley build. There is a more min vexed version because of convergence. We are not able to basically fully uh, stack this. I will uh, show you the build here in action real quick before we talk about the Paragon boards. So you can see here, this is basically me uh, rocking with the build here. So this is like how the build looks in action. Um, like you, you instantly notice the 360 AOE, like it basically crushes, uh, you know, AOE everything. And that is pretty cool because it just makes the run uh, a little bit faster even, I would say, than with Quill Volley. However, you have a bit less, uh, you know, like, area like to the sides and you also have way less dps it's very noticeable even if you play like this min max version of the build with uh, with uh, soar you're still gonna have way less damage with this build however it is pretty fun it's a cool playstyle and it also has an amazing sound uh, when you're attacking with it and it's a gorilla skill not an eagle skill so pretty cool it gets all the style points and you still manage to spawn the boss here you know in just a minute and uh, you see all the orange numbers and then we go to the boss. Boom here and the boss spawns. And then we smash the boss here for uh, like a couple trillion damage and he's dead. And uh, yeah, the build goes the build goes pretty ham. I also did a couple 40 second runs. So um, I'm gonna show you the optimized Paragon board first, I think, because in game, I only made like some very basic changes. So what we do here, starter board, this is a 250 Paragon board. So you have Spirit, if you have more Paragon, you want to populate Spirit in the starter board. So we're rocking Spirit. Um, then we're rocking Viscous Shield. Nothing has changed here. And then instead of Ritual, we are playing Outmatch because now we are doing uh, physical damage. So Ferminate doesn't work. We're not using the Mystic Circle. So we don't need Ritual. We're playing Outmatch here. Uh, just populate enough strength here. It gives you a 1.15 and another multiplier on the Legendary bonus. Left side here is also unchanged. We have Sapping and we have a Hubris here as a multiplier for the resource. Um, then on the right side here, we have now Revealing Board. And here we are rocking a Colossal, just like before. But now we actually benefit from putting uh, more points here into Colossal because... Uh, actually, I should put two more points here. Because we now have Gorilla skills and this helps us boosting our damage now. Because again, Gorilla is a good additive here and we get quite a lot of it. And then there is the new board down here. Instead of Convergence, we are playing Infighter. And this one basically gives you a attack speed multiplier and gives you another damage multiplier. And we are rocking the uh, exploit glyph in here. This one solves in speed runs our vulnerable problems. If you want to push with this build, you definitely want to play the Soar version of the build. Again, the planner is also going to be in the description for that. It's like uh, the standard version in here. And I also have uh, my version that I'm currently playing. I basically have a version here, I'm showing this to you in-game, where you don't have to switch much. However, it's not optimal because we are still playing Convergence and Convergence right now is bugged and doesn't work with these nodes here. So in the Quill Volley version, you know we are playing Ferminate, we're not doing this here. So uh, Convergence doesn't really give us much DPS, we don't get the full multiplier. However, I think that's still fine because it's like just quality of life, you don't have to change around that much. Uh, especially if mo like most of you, um, as me, are coming from the Quill Volley build. So all you have to change, you see here the left side, Hubris, Sapping, Viscous Shield, everything is the same. So all you have to change here is a spec of Intelligence, go for Strength, put Outmatch in here, and then uh, leave the boards the same. Just put Headhunter out and put or Fulminate out, put Exploit in here. This one makes everything vulnerable. And then up here, everything is the same. We are just populating the Colossal Glyph if you have a lot, a lot of Paragon. If you don't, then just don't do this. And um, we, we play Revealing. You also don't need the Lucky yet, so you can save some more points here. 
But yeah, it's just a very easy switch you can do, guys. So again, all you have to switch is your gloves. First thing is the gloves. Second thing is the quill volley ranks into crushing hand ranks. Third thing is Brazil brilliance, because uh, we don't have eagle skills, into dominant. And fourth uh, thing is here, just switch the two glyphs, outmatch and exploit in. And that's it, you can try the build if you like it and you wanna keep playing it. There is a min-maxed uh, Paragon version here that I'm gonna link below here that has the um, infighter instead of the uh, convergence board because you're gonna get the full multiplier here from infighter and it's a cool build. I'll show you some more gameplay here. And uh, yeah, very strong and a cool playstyle. So I'll definitely encourage everybody to, you know, check out some of the uh, cool uh, builds that are available on the Spiritborn. Even though if it isn't like, you know, the full meta build, this one is still a ton of fun, very enjoyable to play. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna be crushing our enemies. And you see this, it's even leaving a dent, man, in the floor. So this build is so powerful. It's leaving like a big hand dent in the floor here. And just pretty cool to look at, pretty cool to play. Enjoy my friends, Gorilla style, let's go King Kong. Okay guys, quick little edit here. Since many of you asked, yes, you can clear pit 150 with this build. If I'm looking at the leaderboards here at helltides.com, there is a Chinese uh, player, he actually did 150 in 10 minutes with this. Um, however, it's gonna be a lot harder than with Quill Volley. I can show you here some footage. I'm also gonna link you the full uh, clear here below. I think he was playing a little bit different. He's still playing with the fell aspect, so you can see how he is uh, melting these uh, enemies and bosses here. So you certainly can still do this and uh, deal quite some damage. And he's also playing the Mystic Circle version without Soar. This would also be my preferred uh, choice because, again, I don't really like Soar too much. It feels very clunky. And uh, yeah, with this, he basically manages to uh, clear the hardest pit here as well. However, it does look quite a bit harder than with Quill Volley, but it is a cool alternative playstyle and we'll see what's gonna happen with the build and the balance uh, on the uh, Spirit Born in the first place. Maybe it's gonna be a bit different, you know, and you can see here, like when he's fighting the boss, he's basically uh, utilizing also the uh, one-shot strategy here again with the fell aspect, not uh, uh, taking any Midnight Sun and just like playing Lucky Hit Vulnerable on the ring. And he makes the boss uh, vulnerable and he uh, basically executes, you know, some of the small enemies here. And once the boss uh, gets uh, one-shotted, boom, he manages to clear it in just 10 minutes. So, pretty cool playstyle, guys. Many alternatives on the Spirit Born. It's a great class, so many options. Let's go. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.